Hey there, everybody. I'm Brooke Anderson of Entertainment Tonight. Welcome to the IMDb Countdown. This is the 10th year in a row that IMDb, the number one movie website in the world, has unveiled their definitive top 10 lists. And joining me is Keith Simonton. He's IMDb's managing editor. And we're going to announce IMDb's top 10 breakout stars of 2014 list. So Keith, how did IMDb determine this list? How did they come up with the ranking? Brooke, every year we tabulate our top 100 stars of the year list which is determined by the actual page views of IMDb's more than 200 million monthly visitors worldwide. So once we've done that, we look to see if there's anyone who has appeared on our top 100 for the first time in their career. Then we rank them, and this list represents the 10 biggest breakout stars of the year. Page views, click, click, click. Actual numbers, page views. Black and white. Black and white. Nothing gray. No. All right, let's get to the list now. Coming in at number 10, Jamie Dornan. He snagged one of the most sought after and anticipated roles in 2014, didn't he? To paraphrase the Fifty Shades of Grey poster, Mr. Dornan, we'll see you now. Jamie Dornan obviously is gonna play the suave, tormented billionaire Christian Grey in the anxiously awaited Fifty Shades of Grey film that is clearly of great interest to fans mm -hmm. in advance of the film's opening uh, this coming February 13th, which is the day before Valentine's Perfect Day. Perfect timing. Yeah, the, the man the world will soon know as Christian Grey might be more familiar to TV viewers as Paul Spector on BBC's popular show, The Fall. But whether in TV or film, Jamie Dornan is one to watch. There was so much attention surrounding the casting of oh, this yeah. role. Charlie Hunnam was, was in, in and first, then he was out. So out. who was it going to be? And here it is, Jamie Dornan. Which is why he's number 10 on the breakout stars yeah, list. Yeah, no pressure, Jamie. Thank you, all the users of uh, Imdaba. Um, no, I know it's IMDb. Uh, thank you for making me one of your top 10 stars of 2014. I know that that means that um, a lot of you look me up a lot, which is uh, great. And uh, yeah, I accept this award with um, great pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, coming in at the number nine position, Taylor Schilling. And of course, this is because Orange is the New Black is so, so popular. No question. You know, Schilling came very close to breaking into our top 100 last year as Orange is the New Black gained popularity. But this was her first year to make it onto the list and earn a place on our top 10 breakout stars list. She's clearly headed for big things as well. <laughs> and interestingly, at the number eight spot is Taryn Manning, another Orange is the New Black star. And fans of the show are probably gonna get a kick out of this because at the end of season one, there's actually a, a fist fight, little fisticuffs between <laughs> Taylor Schilling and Taryn Manning. And it looks like they're doing the same thing here on our top 10 breakout stars list. We're duking it out. Duking it out. Taryn's victorious this yeah. time. <laughs> hey, IMDb users. My name is Taryn Manning, and I'm coming at you from Cleveland, Ohio, from the set of my new movie, Abduction in Cleveland. It's the Michelle Knight story, and I have the honor to play Michelle Knight. So. I'm here because I'm accepting an award from IMDb for being 2014 top 10 breakout star and um, I just want to thank you guys for this honor and I want to thank Orange is the New Black for creating such an amazing show which also got named one of top 10's breakout shows of the year. We're so thankful and so happy that the fans have received our show so well. 2014 has been a special, special year for me and um, I don't know, it's just an example and a reminder of never to give up, never to quit. It's been a hard road, ups and downs, and IMDb, thank you so much that you guys have recognized me in this way. It truly means a lot. Thank you to the fans that have determined us as the top 10 breakout stars, and just thank you to everybody for supporting um, what I love to do. Number seven on the list, Jared Leto, and he took home the Best Supporting Actor Oscar at the 2014 Academy Awards. Yeah, you know, we started to see Leto's star meter rise at the end of 2013 after Dallas Buyers Club debuted at the Toronto Film Festival, and pundits started predicting that he was going to be nominated for uh, Best Supporting Actor Oscar. So during the awards season, he was such a breath of fresh air. <laughs> for example, uh, I watched him pass around his Oscar to the press to hold in the Academy Award press room, which is a no-no. They're like, don't do that. Even if the guy gives you the Oscar, don't touch the Oscar. He was he so was passing excited. It yeah. <laughs> so fans and critics alike really embraced Leto in 2014. Well, I've been a fan of, I've thought he was so major since my so-called life. So I've <laughs> been a fan are. for a long time. He broke time. out for you then. That's right. He was my breakout star way back then. <laughs> All right, checking in to the the number six position now, it's Theo James, the eye candy of Divergent. 
What made him so popular this year? You know, or did I just say it, the eye candy? Actually, this is a great example of you know, how a popular franchise, such as uh, Lionsgate's Divergent series, can elevate the profile of a charismatic young actor from emerging to breakout. Mm -hmm. Because James had actually starred in a short-lived TV series called Golden Boy in 2013, but that didn't do it for him. It was his role as Four, the love interest of Shailene Woodley's character, Triss, in Divergent, which catapulted him into the spotlight. This was the role. This was the role. Midway through the list now, at number five, Naomi Grossman. Keith, why Naomi? So Grossman's transformation um, into Pepper on American Horror Stories, Asylum, and Freak Show seasons is simply astounding. Her portrayal has piqued a lot of curiosity about her among our users. Hi, IMDb users. I'm Naomi Grossman. I just wanted to take this opportunity to personally thank you for searching for me on IMDb. Thanks to you, I have been named one of IMDb's top 10 breakout stars of 2014, a list that is based on page views on IMDb. 2014 has been such a special year for me, what with my return to American Horror Story as the first and only crossover character. Thank you again to IMDb for this recognition, and more importantly, thank you to the fans on IMDb. I couldn't have achieved this recognition without your support. I can't wait to talk about this next actor, <laughs> the one who comes in at number four, Chris Pratt. He really graduated from sitcom sidekick to big screen leading man in 2014. This is one of those stories I love to see as well, when an audience gets an actor mm -hmm. who's been in the trenches for a long time. Guardians of the Galaxy launched him into the mainstream's public consciousness this year, but he's been working for over 12 years, since essentially the TV show Everwood, even before that, but essentially since then. He's been grinding. Well, he's, you know, he's a hard working, <laughs> working actor, actor, you know? So next up for him, is the highly anticipated Jurassic World in the summer of uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. But this guy's paid his dues, so yeah. it's great to see the public widely recognizing his talents and Hollywood anointing him as a leading man. And I say it could not happen to a nicer guy. Nicer guy. Number three on IMDb's list of breakout stars, Gone Girl actress Rosamund Pike, who a lot of you may remember from the Pierce Brosnan and James Bond film Die Another Day back in 2002. Yes, I recall 2002, and I recall Rosamund Pike. <laughs> and, you know, and as with several of our other 2014 breakout stars, you know, it's the case of a great actress being matched up with the perfect role. Mm -hmm. Pike was in several films which were released in 2014, but it was her performance as Amy Dunn, the enigmatic, aloof title character of David Fincher's fall hit film, Gone Girl, that left users craving for more information about her and turning to IMDb to meet that need. She did a great job with what She's was a complex She's extremely good. To play. And, yes. yeah. One spot away from the top, checking in at number two, Nicola Peltz. Keith, not a lot of people are super familiar with this actress, so fill everybody in. Yeah, you know, I mean, who's Nicola Peltz? That's exactly what our users were asking. You know, when they watched Transformers Age of Extinction, the one billion dollar worldwide hit. <laughs> Actually, what they were probably asked themselves was, hey, who's playing Mark Wahlberg's rambunctious, rebellious daughter running around gigantic <laughs> robots in short shorts? And the answer is uh, Nicola Peltz. Nicola but, uh, before the Transformers, she, uh, Nic Nicola had a recurring role on Bates Motel, which was extremely popular as well. And I expect we may see her in our top 100 yet again. We are here, Keith. My favorite part of the countdown, revealing number one. So, from oh, roll, really? the number one breakout star of 2014 is Margot Robbie. And I'm a little bit surprised by this. Don't get me wrong, she is great, but her great big movie came out nearly a full year ago. Yeah, and, and you know, you and I may be a bit surprised about this, but IMDb users would not. So, The Wolf of Wall Street was released on Christmas Day in 2013 in the U.S., but it really wasn't until 2014, obviously, a little, just a little bit later, that our users really had a chance to see the film, and they started to look up the actress who played Leonardo DiCaprio's bombshell wife, Naomi. Mm -hmm. And really, that's the thing I love uh, the most about this objective list, and Star Meter itself, which is that it picks up and amplifies the otherwise imperceptible interest that public has in an actor or actress who's in the process of breaking through to stardom. I know it may be a little un unexpected to some people, but... It's, those are the numbers. Not to a lot of the <laughs> those users, Those are the page exactly. views. These are the breakouts. Well, there you have it. IMDb's top 10 breakout stars of the year list as determined by IMDb users. So thanks so much for your expertise, Keith. Thank you, bro. And for more IMDb top 10 lists and best of 2014 editorial features, just check out imdb.com slash best of 2014. Thanks for watching, guys.